When I was a young girl, I was quite a tomboy. Actually, my role model was Red Adair. And I don't know how many people remember Red Adair, but he was this amazing character who used to get brought in to seal out-of-control fires on oil rigs. And I just thought, what an amazing man, what an amazing job. And that kind of lifted my sights to how can you be really good at something so that people will turn to you and ask you to help them? I was um, not very studious in my school days. I didn't quite understand the rules of school. When I got really excited was when I got to my first job and I walked into the company and I just knew when I arrived there that I'd found my time and my place. I thought, how can I be the best person in this business? It's now called the Data Sciences. And we analyze the biggest data sets in the world to try and understand how consumers live their life, what they want, what they buy. We help brands and businesses respond better to customers. I ran that business with my husband for 30 years now and we're still married. I also have a project that's called The Female Lead, which really springs from the things I'm most passionate about. Sharing stories of inspirational and amazing women to make sure we've got more role models out there. So much today is about celebrity and the same images, the same women that just keep getting recycled. And, you know, these are amazing women, but we wanted to share more stories and to show a greater diversity. It's a huge range. It's women who've broken into some of the toughest industries in the world, film, business, uh, publishing. But we also wanted really young women who were I suppose pioneering in very different ways. People who are vloggers, for example, using social networks and, and, and digital channels, um, and who were in fashion or fleeing for their lives from difficult regimes. So the project really is surfacing those women, telling their stories, and sharing them with people in schools so that they don't need to feel inhibited or worried about what this terrible word, ambition, might mean.